Okay, thanks, thanks very much. Thanks for the invitation to be here. We gather, I think I should say, I want to acknowledge the other journalists because I think it's very important when we gather at these events to understand that what we're witnessing here is what the first people witnessed when uh, the British first, first, first arrived. And there's been a, an intimate connection between the racism inflicted on the first people and the racism that's being inflicted on the most recent people. And until uh, the Palm Island's got justice, until our Springs has got justice, we're going to force where we need to fight together. It's very important that we've come here today. Very, very important because we stand at something of a turning point, I think, in the refugee campaign. There's going to be rallies here today. There's going to be rallies in Sydney and Melbourne on the 12th of August before Parliament goes back. Because as I don't need to tell you at the moment, there is a toxic debate happening as far as Parliament and as far as our so-called leaders are concerned over offshore processing. Now, we are implacably opposed to offshore processing. There will be no justice for refugees if they get away with offshore processing. We are for onshore processing, but when I say we're for onshore processing, we're not for that. Our offshore processing has got no fences. Our offshore processing has allowed, allowed people to live in the community while their claims are being processed so they can work and live and, uh, you know, amongst us in the community. Because there's one other thing I want to let you know. Some people have chosen to go on the excursion, and it's not surprising they get next to nothing inside those fences. It's not surprising they take advantage of that, and I don't begrudge them that. And what I do begrudge is the fact that it takes a protest outside the fence to get Turco to get off their bleed and behind to get people out from inside those fences in the first place. But I also want to let you know that there's some people who are not on excursion, and there's some people who are not inside. And those are people who are in the private mental health clinics in Tawang and in Pine Rivers. And they are in those clinics because what mandatory detention and what those fences do to people, they destroy their souls, they destroy their minds, ultimately they destroy their lives. And so when I hear the politicians weeping crocodile tears about the lives that are lost at sea and they say nothing, about the lives that are lost inside the detention centres that they preside over, that they administer, then we know there are crocodile tears. We know that they don't care.